All right, in this sample problem, we are asked to find the approximate physical diameter of the moon. And we're given the information that the angular size of the moon is about 0.5 degrees. Sorry, this is a little bit untidy. I'm using a brand new tablet and I'm not very good at it yet. We're also told that the distance to the moon is 384 thousand kilometers. All right, let's figure out which equation to use. We are going to use the equation that tells us the physical size is equal to the angular size times the ratio of 2 pi times distance all divided by 360 degrees. Again, sorry, that's a little bit untidy. I'm still learning how to use this tablet. All right, the physical size is what we, we don't know yet, so we can just rewrite that. That's what we're trying to figure out. The angular size, well, that was given in the problem right here, 0.5 degrees, so 0 0.5 degrees times that 2 pi is a constant. And then the distance is given here, 384,000 kilometers. All divided by 360 degrees. Let's stop and do a little units check. The degrees on the 0.5 degrees angular size is going to cancel with the degrees on the 360 degrees there. So the units we're left with are the kilometers, which were up on the distance. So as long as the physical size of the moon is okay in kilometers, then we're all set. And I think kilometers is a perfectly good unit for the physical size. So let's start calculating this out, this physical size. I'm going to leave the 0 0.5 alone, and I am going to tackle the fraction to start with. Oops. Multiply by 2 pi times 384,000. That works out to be 2.413 times 10 to the 6 kilometers. So that's 2,413,000. And I'm still dividing by 360 degrees. I'm just doing this one step at a time. Still leaving that 0.5 alone. I'm going to go ahead and divide in the fraction here. So I'm going to take 2.413 times 10 to the 6 kilometers divided by 360 degrees. And what I get is 6.702 times 10 to the 3. And the units here are a little weird. We haven't canceled anything out yet, so it's kilometers per degree. And this time I'm going to write DEG because a little circle down there would look really weird. All right, final step, 0.5 times that number. I am going to get 3,350 kilometers, but you know what, that's a little bit too much precision. Um, I could round it up to 3,400 kilometers. That's two sig figs, which is probably actually too many. We should probably only be using one sig fig. Um, that's two sig figs. And this is the physical size. I can go ahead and write that in again here. Diameter, really, diameter, same thing, put a box around it, that's my answer. I can check this because the diameter of the moon is a number that's really easy to find. Um, you can look it up on the internet, you can look it up in a textbook, 
Um, lots of places have it. It turns out the actual physical diameter of the moon is something like 3,476 kilometers. So we are really close. The reason we didn't get the exact answer is because that angular size, 0. 0.5 degrees, that's a rough estimate. And that distance to the moon is an average distance, 384,000. That, that's also an estimate. That's not the exact number. So the number we got is the approximate physical diameter of the moon. And, and I can actually write a sentence about that. Um, it's going to be a little hard on my tablet here, but I'll give it a try. The physical diameter of our moon is about 3,400 kilometers. Done!